Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't posted in a long time um, but I want to start posting again so here I am. So for today's video I thought I would share with you guys some things that Jewish people tend to have in their homes that really just uplift the energy in the home, that really bring a positive vibe to your home, brings more godliness, brings more holiness into your home. These are things that I think anybody can implement if you don't already, and it will definitely bring more just kedusha, what we call in Hebrew, holiness into your home. So I hope this inspires you to implement these things, right? Bring more positive energy into your house, into your space, into your life, God willing. And I hope you enjoy this video. Give it a like if you do. And yeah, I'm sending you guys so much love and blessings. And I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it brings benefit to you. So the first thing that brings a whole energy shift to your house will be what we call a mezuzah, which is literally sourced from the Torah. It's basically um, a little like inside here is a parchment filled with script, filled with Torah verses from the Torah, which I'll put over here, which Torah verses they are. And basically in here, it's a biblical commandment to put this on all of our doorposts except the ones of the doorposts of the bathroom. But it's basically a biblical commandment to put these on the doorposts of our home and with them, they will kind of give us like a spiritual protection. It's kind of like, um, you know how some people put security systems on their house? Well, this is our security system from spiritual forces, negative forces, everything. Any, any negative forces that want to enter the house, they're detracted when we put up a mezuzah. And I'll put a link in bio to all the details of how you can do this, what's the kosher way of doing this. Um, but this is number one, and I'll show you a different one to show you one more detail. Here's another one which has a clear case. You can see in it, you can see the parchment here with the Hebrew verses. You can kind of see over here, this black here, is one of the divine names of God, which is Shakai, right? Shin Dalit Yud. So what that name means is the name of protection, right? God protects us with that name. So God's names are his way of revelation to us. Yeah, that's the mezuzah. Definitely contact your local Orthodox rabbi to put one up and I'll put details below, but it's definitely what it basically is, is a spiritual security system. Protection from everything that can come into your house or everything that goes out. And it's a protection for you for your energy and when you leave the home and you come in the home it's just a complete protective force field so definitely put these on the doorposts of your home and it's a biblical command so it's a good one all right next is called a tzedakah box which is basically a charity box what we do with this is every single day we try to put in a coin in here and it's basically daily charity right so you put a coin in here every single day and over like a month or you could put more over like a month or a certain period of time it fills up and you go and exchange it for cash and or you go give it to your local synagogue or you give it to whatever charity you like and that way you're giving charity every single day the torah tells us that it's better to give a little bit every day than a lot at once right because every day you're doing the act of kindness you're giving away from yourself right energy is a part of yourself and you're giving it um so yeah this is a very cool amazing thing um jews very much value charity because god tells us to give charity god gives us to tithe 10 percent of our earnings and really people wonder why jews are so wealthy why they're so successful and really it's because of charity that's really the main secret we give and we give and we give we help each other out and yeah so if you want energy more to flow in your life because money is energy then learn to give it learn to give tzedakah every day make for yourself a tzedakah box i didn't even buy this one made it just get a, like a normal box put a hole decorate it fill it up with coins and then give it to charity and you'll see that um wealth wise energy will start flowing for you so that's number two next thing that tends to bring lots of blessing into your home is buying torah books right any type of jewish book any book that talks about Torah, that teaches about Torah, um, God's word, any subject in Torah, when you have those books in your house, they bring lots of blessings, specifically Torah books that have the Hebrew words in it. And you know, just like raw Torah books, right? Like right here is Hamash, which is the five books of Moses, this too. Um, and yeah, having them in your house just brings lots of blessing. And obviously reading them and learning from them 
doubles the blessings. So if you want to elevate your space, you want to elevate the holiness in your space, then bring um, holy books into your house because these books are filled with life and positivity. So you really want that energy in your home. So buy Jewish books, buy holy books, buy Torah books. Better if you read them, but even if you don't read them, if they're in your house, they already bring that extra Kedusha to your house. It, do you know what Kedusha means already? It means holiness. So yeah, that's number three. Next thing that you'll probably very often find in Jewish houses, Jewish spiritual houses, definitely, is it art or decoration that has a Hebrew blessing to it, that has spiritual significance to it. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. And the greatest part about this is that you can even make it yourself, you can buy it, and it's not expensive. And it really just elevates your home, it brings um, spiritual abundance to your home. And I'll show you in a second some of the things that I have in my home. So here are a couple of things that we have on our wall in my family's house. Um, these are just a ton of blessings. It means health, love, good luck, life. This is Enon Milvado, which means there's nothing but God. This is another old one. That's my mom's. It's all old, but we keep it. Um, <laughs> um, this is a blessing for the house as well with a Hamza. Just different cute things. This is one of the paintings I made, which says Achtut, which means unity. Um, so yeah. And now the most important most effective spiritual tool you can bring into your house to elevate your life elevate your space which doesn't cost any money is elevating your character elevating your energy force on your own how do you do that the way you speak the way you act um, the way you treat your family members the way you treat people who come into your home you know, you're the one who is in charge of the energy inside of your space. So if you choose to be a happy person, your space will be happy. If you choose to be negative and angry, then your space will be negative and angry, right? So your space is what you choose to make of it. So the way you act within your space, the way um, you choose to feel is definitely going to bring a specific energy into your space. So if you want to elevate your space then elevate yourself. Right? So work on yourself, work on your character, work on being loving, work on being kind, work on no screaming to your children or to your family members, but a peaceful atmosphere. Right, You are in charge of your home by the energy that you choose to bring into it.